Hello my lovelies, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stay for a while and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. For today's video, it's a little bit of a bonus video for the 12 days of Mary Miss Holiday Eye Looks. Um, obviously in my head, I think 12 plus 12 is 24, but the last video for my 12 days of Christmas is going up on the 23rd. <laughs> yeah, it works differently when you're counting like the days and not just counting by numbers. So I decided to throw in this extra and it's more of a holiday look. So we're basically going to get ready as if we are getting ready for Christmas. And yeah, so let's just, let's just jump right in to this video. Okay, my lovelies, let's get started. I already primed my face and I used the, um, Gucci, um, mattifying primer for my t-zone and i used the new merit um little serum for the rest of my face i'm going in to my little sample of the traceless tom ford foundation i'm going to use up the whole little sample so i can make up my mind and pick this up if I still do really love it once the whole sample is gone when it's on sale because I checked and Bloomingdale's is no longer having Tom Ford on sale so I'll keep checking with New Year's coming up and Christmas as I'm filming this it is the 20th of December you should be um, seeing this video on the 24th so I cannot believe Christmas is here Luckily, I'm done Christmas shopping. I just got to wrap all the presents. Okay, my little space heater is on. So that's, gosh, my hair. I got a new curling iron. I don't know if you remember in one of my recent videos, I said my curling iron just gave out. And this new curling iron, it's taking a while for my hair to get used to this new curling iron. My hair is very picky when it comes to curling irons. Not all of them are created equally and not all of them hold the curl in my hair. This is um, the Bobbi Brown Color Corrector in Peach. We are going to go in to the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener, which doesn't have a lot of coverage. So I'm just correcting a tiny bit before I go in with that. Um, but yeah, my hair is so picky when it comes to curling irons. They don't all hold to the curl in my hair. And then with the extensions that I have in, they're kind of picky too since the extension hair it seems like it's more of like a straight type of hair um the curl is also hard to stay so i think it's just getting used to the new curling iron because it's my hair has been giving me hell and it's not doing what i want it to do <laughs> okay now we're going to jump into the rare beauty under eye brightener and i'm using the shade medium so is there anything that you specifically asked for for Christmas? My husband asked me, and typically what we do um, every year is only focus on the kids and maybe get something small for each other. But um, when it comes to like Christmas, it's very rare that we buy gifts for each other or we'll do like a big gift. Like last year, my husband surprised me with the uh, assault bike that I use for when I work out. So that was a good one. I don't even know he purchased it. And this year he asked me and the only thing that I feel like I really, really, really want is the assault treadmill and it's a treadmill that um you um, make it work like it's not your typical treadmill where you turn it on and it starts the um the belt is it the belt you physically have to start it. it's like if you're running outside but you're not and um but that thing is one three thousand dollars <laughs> i think the cheapest we've found is 2500 and two right now we don't have the space for it 
Oh yeah, I haven't updated you guys on the um, the whole house situation. So we did finally sell our home in Texas. Yay. Oh my gosh, it was such a struggle. You know, you hear about real estate nightmares and I now know what they're talking about. <laughs> It was just, um, I might have to save the story for another time. But it finally sold and now we are looking for a house here in Utah. So I'm excited. Okay, I just wanted to show you real quick what the base is looking like before I go in and powder my under eyes. So I definitely enjoy this Rare Beauty um, a lot more with um, under eye corrector. Well, not a, I don't want to say a lot more, but it works really well for me and for my liking on how I like my under eyes to look with the corrector and then the Rare Beauty Eye Brightener. I feel like there's a couple of reviews I saw on this and they were treating it like a concealer and it's not a concealer. You're gonna get like little to no coverage with this. So if that is not your jam, then you don't need this product at all. But uh, for like no makeup makeup days, I think this would be perfect. Or if you are somebody who has really dry under eyes and just needs a tiny bit, I think this would also work for you. But I think the main purpose of this product is just to brighten up your under eyes, which honestly, like I don't get it. Like why would you put concealer and then a night brightener? Just buy a concealer that's lighter so you can brighten up your eyes. I just kind of felt like it was unnecessary to create this product but so far I am enjoying it <laughs> okay I did powder my under eyes off camera just because that's boring and it's just boring okay so now I'm going in to the Fenty Beauty contour stick this is in the shade amber I'm going to use my BK Beauty 111 brush totally forgot to mention uh bk beauty this is the foundation brush i used 106 and bk beauty 110 it's part of the new core um, extension line that's for the concealer i use that for the concealer okay so this fenty beauty this amber shade when you swipe it it looks almost gray right but once you blend it out, at least on my skin tone, it actually um, looks more like a contour shade and it does warm up just a tiny bit. Like it doesn't look gray on me once I blend it out, which I really like. And I've really been enjoying this Fenty Beauty contour stick. I don't have too many contour sticks. I think I only have a handful, but yeah, I've been using this and I've been loving it. Okay, now I'm going to jump into the um, Chanel bronzer, the cream bronzer. It's part of my uh, next two week rotation. That's why I'm using this. This one, I feel it's the medium shade. Um, this one I feel is a little too warm for my personal taste. It's pretty. Is the formula absolutely amazing? No, I don't think so. I think you can find other cream bronzers that are actually better in formula and shade range, but it's a pretty one. I mean, it's not worth the money that they sell it for. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, that's what it looks like. You can definitely go overboard with this and it can look really, really yellow, but I feel right now I have like the perfect amount to where it looks very pretty. Did I say yellow? Not yellow, almost orange. I just feel they could be doing better with the shade ranges. These um, luxury brands really need to work on their shade ranges. I mean, we're in almost 2023 now. Okay, so BK Beauty 111 is what I used for the cream bronzer. Now we're going to jump into the BK Beauty 104. It looks like BK Beauty is the letter or the word for today. <laughs> okay, I'm going to jump into this RCMA pressed powder. What is this called? It's just the Premier Pressed Powder. I believe it comes in three shades. Yeah, I have the shade Amber, and there's one that's like a brightening shade, and then one for your darker complexion individuals. I don't know why people aren't talking about this more because it is a very good powder the loose powder is just as good and i feel like it deserves more hype it got like little to no hype and i feel it needs more hype because it's such a good powder both the pressed one and the loose one and they came out with different shades instead of just a translucent or like a banana 
I don't know if the darkest shade will work for like your very deep individuals but maybe for under the eye I don't like this press one for under the eye but the loose one it does work decently but for all over the face it's so so pretty okay for today's eyes i'm actually going to go pretty simple I'm going to jump in to the makeup by mario master mattes for a couple of crease shades and this lisa eldridge um what is it called the lid something emily is the shade i feel like this is the perfect shade for like a holiday look if you're going for like a bold red lip i think that is perfect okay so we're going to jump in to the makeup by mario first i did already pray my eyes and i used the color pop party proof and i just want like a crease shade so let's jump in to um let's do this one and this one here these two and just kind of mix them up this is a bk beauty 201 and this is going to go in the crease i did not set my lids the primer i left it a tiny bit tacky and see how it's like barely there i am going to kind of wing it out a tiny bit but I'm re i really want this shade to be blown out i'm also going to bring it on the lower lash line okay that's what i want the crease shade to look like now i'm going to jump in to the lid shadow from lisa eldridge so pretty and i think she mainly uses her finger when she blends these out I'm going to try a brush. This is in Morphe, an Ariel A20. Most, mostly for the edges, really. That's yeah, doing decently with the brush. But I believe these do dry down. Pretty sure they do. Okay, this is what it's looking like. I am going to jump in to the Vega palette from Lisa Eldridge. I'm going to jump into the black in this palette because I really do like the formula in here. She did such a phenomenal job. This black is amazing. Okay, this is a BK Beauty 204. It's like a small little precision brush. I'm only going to keep the black here on the outer corner because I don't want this to be too smoky. I am going to create just a tiny little wing. Nothing huge. Okay, and do you see how subtle the black is? So, so pretty. She did such a good job with this black. I literally put like the smallest amount on my brush yeah okay let me go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and i'll be back. okay eyebrows are done and i don't do my brow gel until the end because when i put um highlight it messes up my eyebrows so i'm going in to some mascara this is from rare beauty i actually don't like this mascara all that much it flakes and it kind of clumps up um there's some people that love this mascara but on my lashes it does not work as well as some people rave about it it's just there's better out there for sure i'm going to mix it with my cali ray um mascara which is like a tubing mascara i don't know if it claims it is but every time i wash it off chunks of it come out so I'm, my guess is it's a tubing mascara okay and with the mascara it definitely looks a tiny bit more dramatic i went in to the melt cosmetics eyeliner in ivory i decided not to do black honestly i'm not 100 percent sure i even have a black eyeliner if i do i don't know where it is <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to jump in to this Make Beauty Blush. This is in the shade Swelter, which is like a nice 
like almost berry kind of shade. It's such a pretty color and it blends on top of powder so beautifully. This is a Morphe Y5 brush and I'm just picking up the product and I am putting that on my cheek. You can just stick the brush on the product itself, but I hate it when it like lint and little particles get on the actual stick. So that's why I put it on the back of my hand first and then pick it up from there. I'm going to be extra. Oh, <laughs> I almost dropped it. I'm going to jump in to the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic in Pillow Talk. It's such a pretty shade and I kind of want a tiny bit of glow on my cheek. This is a Morphe and Ariel A22. I'm kind of just dusting this on top of that Make Beauty blush. I'm also kind of setting the blush as well. Although the Make Beauty doesn't stay too sticky and it blends out on top of powder so beautifully, if you noticed. All right, I haven't put powder bronzer on yet. I usually do that before blush, but I totally forgot. I'm going into my Chanel. This is the um, Oversized Healthy Glow Bronzer. And what shade? Medium, I think. Yeah, shade medium, and it only comes in three different shades. This is a Morphe and Jaclyn JH13. And I'm just going to dust that. See, this is why I wait until the end to put gel on my eyebrows because going up there with with this brush would have messed them up you know okay for the highlighter i'm going to jump in to this little lila b thing right here lila b is being discontinued so i don't even know if you can still get this be captivating is the name of the shade and i'm actually going to use a brush this is the bk beauty 113 so this is part of the core extension line and she pretty much created this to powder the under eye but i have been using this for um, highlighter and I recently started using it with like cream highlights I use this with the rose ink one and it looks so pretty like the bristles just are absolutely perfect when it comes to cream products and I also um, with the liquid highlight like I put, put it on the back of my hand I dip it rub it and it just looks so so pretty this brush is perfect for applying your highlight especially if it's cream or liquid so so pretty see how perfectly it's applying it and it's not disturbing anything underneath okay we're just about done and i did finally put brow gel now we're going to jump back in to the master mats from make it by mario get the lightest shade in the palette and we're going to use that as our inner corner um i don't feel like having any glitter in my inner corner see how pretty that looks love it Okay, and now for the lips. I'm going to jump in to this Tom Ford. Um, it is in Scarlet Rouge. So it's a beautiful red. All right, my lovelies, and here is the finished look. I think it is bold, but simple at the same time. Usually when I wear a red lip, I like a more simple eye look like this, just because I don't want the eyes and the lips to clash, you know? Okay, well, this video is going up on the 24th, and um, I'm Mexican, in case you didn't know, and we typically get together on the 24th. That's when we eat, celebrate, talk, and then at midnight is when we start opening presents. So, um, which is kind of crazy because you're expecting your kids to stay up after midnight, right? <laughs> Um, but that's that's just how we do it. That's how it's been done for years. Now, once uh, my sisters and myself had kids, that kind of changed and we did start opening presents a tiny bit 
earlier and then that way on the 25th each individual family spends time with their own you know immediate family um, but this year I think the 25th is when family's coming over and we're celebrating and whatnot. So things are going to look a little bit different. My husband, unfortunately, is not going to be here. He'll be at work, but still going to be a good time. I'm going to make sure of that for my children. Okay, well, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. You have no idea. I hope you have an amazing Christmas. If you celebrate it, of course. If you don't celebrate Christmas, um... What is there? Hanukkah? I hope you have a good Hanukkah. <laughs> I hope you have a good holiday wherever you are, whatever it is that you celebrate and enjoy it with family and lots of yummy food. Okay. Well, I would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it and you would definitely help me out in the algorithm of hopefully bringing some new and fresh eyes to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you joined my small YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button. I would love to have you. All right, my lovelies, I will see you on the next video. Bye.